Hi folks, this is Colin with Skelton Business Equipment. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Sharp MFP to print from your Windows 10 computer. So, the first step, go to our website which is equipmybiz.com. Once you're there, click on the Sharp Print Drivers tab. Scroll down a bit and you'll see the instructions here. Select your model and then select your operating system. So, the MFP is the model drop down. I have a MX4050 turned on for this demo and then it says select your operating system so we're going to skip platform go to operating system and you see for Windows 10 it says select the Windows 64-bit OS WHQL driver package We'll select that click search click download and once this finishes downloading here in a second we will tell it to Show in folder. We'll just double click here, double click again, and then double click on the setup application. And you can either extract this or just run it. I normally just run it. It will ask you if you want to allow the app to make changes. Click yes. It will ask you where to extract the drivers. Just click next. We want to just a standard installation on this. So at this point it's going to search the network and find any sharp device that matches the model of your uh, choosing there. And what I like to do instead of using the uh, device name, I like to use the IP address. So I'm going to specify an IP that I had in this printer is 116. So there's that. We'll click. You want to make sure this run the auto configuration is checked. Click next. It will install the driver. You'll see the setting up devices box here. When this goes away, the driver is installed. So if you want to set it as your default printer, you can, or you can say don't change my default. Click finish. If you want to set it as your default, you can click print test page, and that should print a test page out on the machine. Uh, I'm going to click finish here. There's a couple other steps that you want to do and I'll show you that. If you go to your control panel, go to your devices and printers menu and here's the machine we just installed. So I'm going to right click on this and go to printer properties and on the configuration tab you can see that it's fully configured here. If you didn't run the auto configuration during the setup you can click this right here and it will do it and then you can apply that then I go to the general tab click preferences and I default the two-sided printing to none it comes on long edge by default we put that on none and we change the color mode to black and white and that will help keep down your printing costs once you do that you're all set if you have any other questions, feel free to go to our How To tab here at our website or contact us if you have any other questions. Thank you.